today's episode of Downstream Outdoors. Today on Downstream Outdoors, we're back into the fishing. But first, let's talk about this week's featured product of the week. This week's featured product of the week is our own Downstream Outdoors brand of fishing lures. Available in eight wonderful colors, these are available at places like Aquatic Imitations in the Mount Ox Plaza along Route 22 in Hollidaysburg, Pennsylvania, and at Saxton Outdoor Supply along Route 26 in Saxton, Pennsylvania. This week on Downstream Outdoors, like I said, we are back into the fishing. This here one's kind of a unique one. Um, we start out, it's uh, Carl and myself and Steph and Aaron, and we're fishing South Poplar Run up in what's called Bulls Creek. Um, we start off at this wonderful, beautiful waterfall. Um, Aaron and I were shown this water, waterfall by the Dennis's, and I, I was instantly drawn to it. I'm like, I gotta fish this thing. And uh, so Aaron and I showed up the next night after we were shown it, and we brought Carl and stuff along, and we went out for a little bit of a fishing trip. Now, ultimately, the ladies didn't stick around. Um, this stream gets to be a challenge, and it is an exciting challenge. So the ladies don't stick around very long. They're only there for a little bit, and then it's just me and Carl. We head up into the mountains fishing this stream. We're after native brook trout, and, uh, of course, we are using our brand of lures, and uh, we're going to see how it goes. Must have just been the two in here. Must have just been the two in here. I see a good hole right up there. I think I, I'm gonna stay on this side a bit. Yeah, maybe uh, cross over there so we don't have to deal with the big rocks. Yeah, it's a nice little hole there. Yeah, back in that little cut back there. Didn't want to spin on me there. A little footbridge right up there. Looks like a nice little hole under it. 
Yeah, we see it. Oh. A little bit high. Shame for that, because other than that, it, it was a good cast. Deer carcass. Yote, coyote. You get a little bit more left. Get into that bend back here. Yeah, I feel like you, where you're hitting right now, you're completely missing where they're at. I know, you're, you're trying to dial in, which you're getting better. There you go. That'll that'll do. Didn't see any. Yeah. No. Watch out for the stinging nettle. See it here? Watch the stinging nettle right here. I think that hole under the bridge is yours. <laughs> if you want it. I would cross over and cast it from that direction. Um, m focusing mainly on the fast water and the water to the left of the fast water. Did you bite? Nice. She had a chaser. Good casting, hon. Now you're getting good casting. 
Better than what I'm getting right now. I'm all in the damn in the, in the trees. That's why I've been hanging back and refishing your holes, just trying to hit the yeah. Spot. Yeah. Really get it, yeah. Just hit them again. Uh oh. See the bridge? Where'd you come from? I don't know. He jumped right over. That that's a good idea to just practice every hole because every hole is a little bit different. And who's to say, you know, that since it, it yeah, it doesn't it just want a different color. Where are you stuck at? Give me a little bit of slack. Not nearly as deep as it looks on the left hand side. Very deceptive, not nearly as deep over here as it looks. It's probably only about that deep. The only place is the main channel, right down to fast water. I see you. I think Steph's getting you. I would strictly aim for the fast water, Carl. It's a native.
Ooh, I had a bite. How can you tell? Um, sometimes you can see them, sometimes you can feel them. A rock. I didn't wade through that. I didn't walk through that. I walked out around that. But there's two nice holes right up here. You got star with you. No, I don't. Oh, shit. Well, look something there. No. Oh, shit. No, the, these are untouched. I was going to let you have first crack at them. Especially this one, because there ain't shit hanging over top of it. You're getting the exact distance. Ooh, there you go. There you go. There you go, Carl. All right, wet your hands. Oh, that's a beautiful brookie there. Look at that brookie. Let's get a nice close shot of that. Oh, that's beautiful, Carl. Nice one.
it's in the water. <laughs> Uh, that might have been the dominant one for this hole. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, nice a nice native. I yeah, I can tell from even from a distance. That was me oh. going ooh and ah. Look at this hole. Where do you get up here close enough to actually look at it? Oh, yeah. Come on, Alwyn. Yeah, baby, you take first crack. I'd get up here on this mossy rock. And shoot straight up, shoot the straight up into the, towards that fast yeah, water. Feels really, really good. I might itchy uh, shin there. Nope, not up over them trees. That was literally like the one place you should avoid. Alright, let us fish it and we'll pull you lower right, real quick. Oh, that was a nice brookie. No, no, he's actually in a better spot. I would take that spot myself. Oh, there we go. Look at him twist and turn. Oh, yeah, look at that pretty native. Look at that pretty one. That's absolutely gorgeous right there. Cool. Yeah. Rip a couple casts up in there. Stay back here. No bites, no chasers. Not a little, you know, a little oh, I'm on that big rock. Uh, yeah. Well, so much for this hole. <laughs> there we go. Right back on that rock. I guarantee you they're laying up under this rock right here. Oh, yeah. Yep, there they just ran. I just seen them. Yep. Up underneath the rock. Oh, okay. Come on. There went another one. Holy hell. I'm really stuck on that rock. Yeah, I really had good hopes for that.
Nah. Yeah, Maybe. Not what I wanted. Definitely not what I wanted. Look at that tangled up mess. Ooh, you're really up in there. Yeah. All right. Oh, shanty there. Some sort of shanty? Might have been a shine shanty at some time. No, it's got to be some sort of water authority because there's... Yeah. There's a real nice hole straight up there. Nothing out of that little hole. Stand like at the base of these rocks, Carl. It's not super deep, but it's a nice little hole. There's another nice one on up around a little bit too. There you go. Hey, it's not very dang deep. Uh, it might be deeper up in there than what we think. I think you need to move on up here. Try to get all the way up to that fast water. Yeah, maybe not. That looks like a super hole up there, though. Huh? Yeah, I would I'd fish from that side. Maybe up towards that big rock because you have that hidden obstacle there of that hemlock branch laying low.
I see it up there, yeah. I think you were ultimately in the ideal location. Yeah, that's why I thought you shoot right up in here, but it's a little rough with a little. Shoot these. Not what I wanted, but you like the extension right in between where they come together. Right yeah. No. Once again, it's a super hole. Once again, it's a super hole. Oh, I just had a bite. Yeah. He ain't coming back out. He's right behind that second rock right there. Look at that hole up there. There's two of them up there. Yeah. Huh? Yo. I'd go over there by that big bear, flat bear rock yeah, and shoot up through there. Not entirely what you wanted, but it wasn't that bad. There you go. Nope, you're still up on the rock. Oh, you're clean up over that branch. Now you're knotted. <laughs> Not what I wanted. Huh? Yeah. Just a little snag on the rock. I want to get a little bit right and try. Ooh, I just saw one jump in there.
Go ahead, nothing seems to be happening. Yeah, definitely you're gonna catch nothing out of there now. Going up. I would go up to that bare rock, that bare flat rock there below the stacked rocks, shoot and shoot from there. I appreciate the the concept of what you're trying to do. Stay as far back as possible. Just with this much of a uh, of a decline in the stream, it's going to be tough. There you go. There you go. There you go, Carl. 
All right. Ah, oh. oh. first native of the evening. Quick release. Nice cast. Can you give yourself a little bit more distance up into that second hole? You ain't got much overhead, so you don't have much to snag on. There you go. I'm done giving you advice. <laughs> there you go. Ultimately, cross over to that log right there, that dry bank at that log. Try to shoot up into the fast water and down. That's what you wanted. Was it a bite or a rock? Yeah. yeah. Dude, since you're right there, take a minute, walk along that shore, walk up to that first big step there, and see what's up there along that bank up there. I'll see what's up here. All right. I'm going to just go to this first big flat rock here, that real big flat one, and try to look upstream and see what's upstream from there. If we have to go up a little bit higher, we'll go up a little bit higher. But before we venture on, meet back down here. So we can each figure out what way we're going.
Nice one. Carl caught a real nice one. Nice one, Carl. Oh. I got video evidence. Yeah, all the ones I've had tonight have been on all three hooks. Yeah, he was probably a one hooker. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I had taken two casts straight up that way when you hollered for me. I have not cast around a corner yet. And ultimately over here is probably where they're gonna be laying. Yeah. When if you get up around there, you'll see it and you'll know why I say that. Go ahead, we're gonna do cross line. We'll do alternating cross line. Oh, you're behind you, okay. Caught a big old rock. Said I caught a big old rock. There we go. That's a deep hole right there in front of us. Yeah, it is kind of a goofy bend here. But I guarantee you it's deep right over there, but it looks like it's shallow in between the two spots. Yeah. That might actually be another little spot right there at the top of that slide. See what I mean? Not a very big spot, but a little spot. Yeah, see the problem in here, it's deep, but there's no cover. Right, these natives, they like their cover. Huh? I see it. Yeah. Hey, I'm coming back here. This is a learning expedition. I like this up in here. That's not very deep right there. Yeah, that's only a couple inches. Yeah, stay up there, walk on up, see if you can't find another hole here. I'm gonna join you here in a second. I gotta get the moss off my lure. Huh? I see a coral track. Deer. 
That's a major crossing point for deer. Oh, that hole right there. How to get down to it. As it, uh, now that we're closer, it doesn't look quite as good. I think we're starting to run out of water, Carl. We're going to have to walk farther and farther for decent holes. That is a boot print right there. Right here, yeah. Somebody might have been up here. Somebody else been up in here. Might even still be up in here. Well, now there was no cars down there when we came in. Maybe yesterday. Might have been them boys up in here mushroom hunting. That looks like it might be a decent spot. Find a way down over here. Yeah, right here looks about as good as a spot as any. Another nice little spot right up around the bend there. Yeah, there's cover and stuff in there. There might be one in there. Huh? Uh, there you go, nice cast. Let me get out of your way a little bit. I seen a chaser. Huh? I seen a chaser. It looks like there's going to be a killer up there, on up around. Let me put a couple casts into this spot here, but right up there above that ledge, I bet you there's a nice hole up there. And probably one on up above the next tree. Here, hold on, let me get a couple casts in. Oh, you're going way off path.
Oh yeah. Oh, that'd have been bad. I'm sure I could do it, but I don't really feel like carrying your ass out of here. Oh, uh, maybe not that good of a hole. Yeah, I thought this was all water right here. Till I got right up behind here, I thought this was all water. There's still one in there. Stick. They were laying right up in there. There's a little rock shelf right there. Ooh, there's a mud. Look at this, this is beautiful. Real soft and spongy. The amount of moss that's growing on, it's incredible. Yeah, doesn't that feel good to walk on? See, if we'd had our fly rods, I'd guarantee you there's one laying right along in here. Hell, dude, you should have crawled under. Yeah. You're, saying you're not the undertaker. You ain't uh, it's, it's stepping over that thing like it's a top rope. <laughs> I seriously think that we need to take a chance, though. Maybe the next time we come up in here, come up in here with our fly rods and fly fish us. And I bet you we have a completely different experience fly fishing. We would get to a... D more holes. Yeah. We would get to more fish. That's a nice little hole right there, looks like. Yeah. Let's Ooh, loose rock. Oh yeah, that is a nice little hole there. Real nice. Maybe step up underneath this log here, shoot up in that way. Not bad, can you get a little bit more distance on the next one without getting in a tree? Yeah. Try to get up into that fast water and bring it down. Keep challenging yourself and you'll keep getting better. That was not it. Watch you come up out of the water and try to take your lure again. There you go. It's the old up and over trick. I don't know where you learned that one from. One of them weird people. There you go. That was a good cast. No bite. That's kind of weird. I figured there'd be something in there hammering this time of night. Something's weird. Yeah, yeah you'd even feel like along that big rock oh, there. Yeah, yeah, that's what I kept telling him. Yeah. In front of it, just see if I can get him to come run, run after it. Say one more fish or two more fish, and then we'll call it quits for the night. 
Try two more. Two more? Okay. We try. We'll see. Cause we're getting. We're starting to run out of daylight. Yeah. We do have a pretty good walk back. Yeah. Yeah, I feel you. Plus, we have two women sitting back here. Boogie man might come get them. Honestly, I'd like to see Aaron in a fight. I bet you she could whoop up on a woman. Yeah, she'd have to be pretty mad. Ah. You're over me. Yeah. That's what I call thread the needle. Right? Okay. Ooh! Yeah, this moss that you see right here, this here's the stuff we're stepping on, on some of these places where it looks like a water slide. I bet it would be fun to slide down. You are in a rental, right? So if we get to see somebody, who cares? Yeah, I feel like that needs tried. There's a twig right across diagonally. I mean horizontally right across this hole. Yeah. Right through the best part too. Oh yeah, it's too. Ah, look, trail snacks. Some nice black raspberries. You want a raspberry? I do love me some raspberries. Might be a decent hole right there. Nice cast. Good job. A little bit left. But other than that, that was nice. You hit right along base of that rock where they're probably hiding at.
There. Oh. oh, that was a nice one. I'll be surprised he bites again. And he looked big, so he's probably the dominant one in that little tiny hole. Okay, I ain't going to it. I'm just getting a different angle here. Here, I can see your lure. Hold on. Yeah, clean up and over. Come on, holy hell. Wait. I might be able to get that. Yeah. Ah. Man, it is wrapped. I didn't think it was wrapped. I just broke it. Yeah. Yep, right there it comes. Sorry, I tried. At least we didn't lose a lure. Oh, yeah. Ow. What's wrong with my lure? I just had a bite come out from underneath this rock here on the left. And there was a second one there that didn't strike. He showed interest. Maybe come over here. Throw, throw, uh, are you tied on yet? Okay, good. Huh? Yeah, right past the rock, as far up in as you can get, and then bring it right past this rock on the left here. They're laying up underneath it. I wish I had my blue light, my purple light. Yeah. I got that one bite. Mm 
You're up over the rock, I believe. <coughs> well, let's try one more hole. We'll find one more decent hole and then we'll head back. Tiny hole. Yeah, that's a much of a hole. Um that's a good question. Well, none of these bases last night was this tree. No, they're not. It had to have come from down upstream somewhere. Yeah, no, no. You know, it's that one right there. Oh, yeah. It is that one. I didn't see this snaggle on the side here. That's definitely where it came from. What? Squirrel. Uh, warning from squirrels. Yeah. They're still in there, but once again, if we had our fly fishing equipment. Yeah. We might be out of holes, Carl. Here, let's get up here on the bank. Let's walk the bank up. We'll get it. We'll get there a little bit faster. Yeah. I don't know where we're getting to faster, but we'll get there faster this way. Yeah, it might be decent. Sneak down that way. Come up from the bottom side of it. Yeah, double back a little bit. Right in here ought to be far enough. There's that deer trail right there to your right. You're clean over here. Yeah, you got that stick.
Yeah, not looking real good. Huh? Not looking real good, but it's brighter. Yeah. There's more daylight out here. So that means more fishing, right? I think I see a spot up there we need to try. Yep. Something going on up here we need to get a closer look at. Yeah, something's going on up there. Maybe we'll call that our ender for tonight, if there's a decent hole there. Eh, it doesn't look like there's going to be a decent hole. Not at all what it looked like from down there. <laughs> no. Well, let's call her. Yeah, that's it. Yep, we're running out of daylight, running out of fishing holes. What else can you do but call it and go home and revel in the pleasure that it was. Wow, that was a long one, wasn't it? That was the longest one we've ever produced for Downstream Outdoors. That was kind of a benchmark for how long we could go. Um, I did that on purpose, though. I wanted people to be able to appreciate the adventure. And, uh, you know, we kind of fast-forwarded us walking back and getting out of there. And uh, that's what the whole ending was there, was us, you know, coming out. 
ultimately for us to walk out straight out like we did where we didn't really stop or you know anything it took us over half an hour to walk back out and it was a pretty good trail so it wasn't like we were bushwhacking for a half an hour you know it, it was just straight up covered ground carl and i you know we, we got out of there pretty quick um you know because it, aaron and steph were waiting for us back at the waterfall but uh it took us straight up a half an hour by trail to get back out of there we were up in there you know i i brought this video down from uh, about two and a half hours down to this hour and a half video that we have currently and uh you guys will have to let me know if you like you know the way we did that and made it more of an adventure that rather than just you know about the fish that we catch which the the fish we caught was wonderful i love catching native brook trout um a couple things i'm going to ask is if you ever do catch natives if you ever go after them before you handle the fish always wet your hands it stresses them out a lot less and keep the fish in the water as much as possible um limit its time outside the water if you have to take it out of the water for any reason limit the time you know just unhook it snap a picture if that's what you're going to do and then get it right back into the water and get it back into its home habitat because um native brook trout and true native brook trout like that are one of the rarest species we have here in central pennsylvania uh you know their, their habitat is all but gone luckily a lot of groups like trout unlimited and such have done a lot of work to help restore native brook trout habitat and the pennsylvania fish and boat commission they do a lot of work trying to help it as well um and so it has started to make a comeback and uh you know i know a lot of people who say why would you go after something so small that it's it's not about the size it's about the challenge and that's what it's all about for me is the challenge you know the biggest native brook trout i've ever caught in my life was about 10 inches long and uh for central pennsylvania here a 10 inch native brook trout is a pretty good sized native brook trout um you know so whenever i catch one that's six seven inches long i consider that a pretty good trophy to me and uh they are just they're an absolute challenge and they are a lot of fun to catch because of how challenging they can be and uh you know it's one of them things when you fish streams that small it really helps your accuracy and when you can hone in your accuracy on small streams like that and still have distance when you go out to the bigger rivers it'll just improve your fishing out on the bigger rivers as well so with that until next time keep your line wet and out of the trees <laughs>